Hi, this is Sheldon here from the Currency Advisory Desk. Well, the US dollar opened today at around 55.35 levels, which is up by around 9 paise since yesterday's close. And as witnessed yesterday, even though there was so much of bullish news in the market, and you know, we saw that the Asian markets and Nifty did rally, but the dollar did not break the very crucial level of 55, and it rebounded from around 55.14 in the spot market yesterday. Now looking at the dollar index, it's up at 81.41 percentage points and which is uh, roughly around 0.03 percent. Now the new home sales data from US yesterday came uh, positive at around 372,000 versus the last um, uh, times figure of 359,000. Now this is a positive uh, development for the uh, US uh, American economy as such and we expect the dollar to strengthen against the Indian rupee because if we see that you know the major news that is coming out right now from US at least is uh, for the strengthening of the economy even though we saw yesterday that there was some disappointments as far as the corporate results were concerned but if we look at the fundamental data coming out it's all positive it's all in the green so we're expecting the dollar to strengthen a little bit against the rupee at least now a buy at around 55.30 levels for a target of around 55.90 to 56 is what uh, the market is signaling for looking at europe well, the German Chancellor Angela Merkel and the French President uh, François Hollande will meet today with the Greece Prime Minister and this will be, uh, the meeting will be held today and tomorrow. Now, this is a very important and crucial event because everyone is talking about the Greece exit as such and this particular meeting will probably, you know, decide what is going to happen uh, in the Euro region going forward. But however, we've seen that every time the politicians come out with some news saying that a Greece uh, that Greece is going to exit. There is another counterparty which comes up stating that we will not allow Greece to exit. So on one hand we have Finland who is uh, you know, stating that they are not going to support any more austerity unless and until they get some collateral for uh, lending to Spain or to Greece. But we have uh, Germany and we have uh, France who is willing to go all out for Greece. So we are tracking this particular meeting for the past uh, for the for today and tomorrow, and we'll get the results and we'll come to know what's going to happen in the market post the meeting. Now we are observing for the past few tra trading sessions that the news flow from eurozone is having a major impact on the markets. Now, in fact, nowadays if you see that the fundamental data has taken a back seat, and it's the news flow. If there's a politician or a bureaucrat, what he's speaking is driving the the markets either ways. So we are very cautious on the markets as of now and we advise our traders not to go ahead for any overnight positions, especially for the next few days as at least, till we get a clear picture of what exactly is happening in the Eurozone. Because if there's one party which is giving out a negative uh, statement, we are having the positive statement come in at least you know, within a day or within half a day and the markets reverse the direction entirely. So do not uh, go in for any overnight positions as such. Looking for the uh, at the GDP levels for uh, UK, which is out, uh, which is going to be out today, we see that the GDP expectation is at minus 0.5 percent versus uh, you know the previous number of minus 0.7 percent. Now this is a bit a little better for the uh, UK economy, but however it will not have any much impact on the pound as such. And in rupee terms, we feel that the euro and pound look strong on the back of the strengthening dollar. Looking at the technical levels for today, well for the dollar there is an important support at around 55.11 and a resistance at around 55.78 on the upside. We are bullish on the dollar and one can probably buy at the levels as discussed. And for Euro, well we see that you know there is an important support at around 69.08 and we have a resistance at around 70 to 70.20 on the upside. And for the pound, we see that there's an important support at around 87.54 on the downside. And we see a resistance on the upside of around 88.15.
for the yen when the yen looks bullish at least in the intermediate term till there is lot of volatility in the markets you know till there is uh, no certain direction as such the yen plays a crucial role of a safe haven currency so everybody all the fund managers the hedge funds they start betting on the yen and that's what uh, drives up the yen so we see that the yen has a important support at around 70.12 on the downside and uh, an important resistance at around 71.09 uh, if you are looking to buy we can probably buy at around 70.65 which is a very important uh, resistance level from the current market price so anything above 70.65 seems like a buy from here well that's it for today thank you